Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Quantum Ideas. Today I will be explaining you some of the hard problems from the chapter inference from uh, sample statistics and margin of error. So let's read the question. So we have given this table and first of all let's go to the question. A researcher interviewed 411. Okay, total number of uh, sample was 411. A randomly selected US residents and asked about their views on the use of nuclear energy. The table above summarizes the responses of the interviews. If the population of the United States was 300 million when the survey was given, based on the sample data for the 411 US residents, what is the best estimate? So we have to estimate in millions of the difference between the number of US residents who somewhat favor or strongly favor the use of nuclear energy and the number of those who somewhat oppose or strongly oppose it. So basically we have to estimate the number from the whole 300 million okay, who satisfy this condition. So let's break this one by one. So difference between these and means we have to subtract okay. Uh, this thing, this thing and this thing and there is or or okay so you have to understand or means addition and there is and between okay there is difference between and and that means subtraction now let me uh, break it down further the number of US resident who somewhat favor somewhat favor is this right on it 214 people uh, or or means you have to add this one with strongly favor the use of nuclear energy with this one so this is equals to 200 14 plus 56 so this is uh, 270 and you have to subtract this 270 minus there is and the number of people who somewhat oppose or strongly oppose it means you have to add this to 104 plus 37 this will be around 141 so 270 minus 145 uh, 41 is uh, nearly equals to 129 now you have to apply this result to the whole 300 million population so to do that you have to remember this formula that is estimation is equals to uh, sample proportion sample proportion into population so what was your proportion that is 129 people out of how much sample total size 411 into total population was 300 million so if you solve this you will get around 94 million so the answer is 94 okay so let's move to next one okay number two so we are given table percent in favor sample a has 52 percent and sample a has margin of error of 4.2 percent for b percent is in favor is 48 percent and there is margin of error 1.6 percent the result of two random samples for uh, of words for a proposition are shown above the sample were selected from the same population okay there is a key and the margin of uh, error were calculated using the same method which of the following is the most appropriate reason for uh, that the margin of error okay margin of error for sample a is greater than the margin of error for this sample b okay our uh, point is that margin of a is greater right that is 4.2 percent is greater than margin of error for b so what is the possible reason for this okay we have to find out so uh, we have given same population so within the same population right so within the same population you have to understand this relation the relation is that uh, margin of error will be inversely proportional to sample size okay so if you have a large sample size within the same population then you have the less margin of error if you have less sample size you have large margin of error so a has uh, what a uh, large uh, margin of error okay let me erase it and show you so sample a has what large margin of error that means sample size is less so this is our answer so let's search for the answer uh, sample a had a smaller number of words that couldn't be recorded we can say that the sample had a high percentage of favorable response no we can say that because we are just talking in term of errors right sample a had a large sample size okay 
is it true no it has small sample size right so this is our answer because a had a smaller sample size that's why it has larger margin of error so let's move to the next one okay it's a quite confusing question in state x mr cam's eighth grade student consisting of 26 student was surveyed and 34.6 percent of students reported that they had at least two siblings the average eighth, eighth grade class size in the state is 26 if the student in the mr class uh, are representative of student in the state's eighth grade classes and there are 1800 eighth grade uh, classes in the state which are the following best estimate the number of eighth grade student in the state who have fewer than uh, two siblings okay so that means you can see here uh, the number of students surveyed in the, uh, in uh, mr x uh, i'm sorry not mr x in the state x out of uh, mr cam's class was 26 and you can see average uh, eighth grade class size in the state is also 26 that means mr cam's class are basically representative of student in the state eighth grade classes okay mr uh, cam's classes students uh, data will represent the entire eighth grade classes uh, from the state x you uh, you have to understand that thing okay that means we have to find the number of uh, students who have uh, fewer than two siblings okay and our sample is taken from eighth grade student okay don't forget that so how can we do that so a little bit confusing in the beginning but uh, as you read it again you will find it more easy okay so let's see um, so 34.6 percent means what uh, a student having at least two siblings right at least two siblings that means if you subtract this from 100 that is 34.6 this will yield how much 65.4 percent and this will give you uh, the number of student having percentage of student having fewer than two siblings okay fewer than two siblings and we have to find this number total uh, out of the state tax okay and since the uh, mr cam's class is the representative of the student in the entire right states uh, eighth grade classes that means we can estimate total number okay total number of total number of sorry okay total number of student eighth grade student Uh, in state x okay that will be equals to how much that means okay there are how many uh, eight grade classes there are 1808 uh, graded classes into okay and how many uh, student are there in average that is 26 so this will give you the total number of student that is 46800 okay in the total uh, state oh, I mean uh, in within that state uh, the total number of eighth grade student is this much okay now we have to find uh, the student who have fewer than two siblings so student having uh, fewer than two siblings that is how much 65.4% uh, of 46800 okay this will be nearly equals to uh, three zero six zero seven point two so we have to find the approximate answer so answer is uh, three zero six zero is very close right so answer is C so this is the way to solve this problem and if you see in the uh, college board manual also you will find it a difficult way they have provided so I think this is the best method to solve the problem so let's move to the next one and if you don't understand my language because my English pronunciation are quite bad uh, you can just uh, comment in the chat section I will explain you okay for the better so let's move to number four okay pull results so Angel Cruz is 483 Terry Smith is 320 the table shows the result of a pool a total of okay this is our uh, sample size 803 voters selected at the random were asked which candidate they uh, will vote for in the upcoming election according to poll if 
6424 people vote in the election by how many vote will angel cruz be expected to win okay basically this is our population this is our sample size so basically by how much means we have to find estimate the vote of both and subtract them okay since you can see who is getting the higher vote 483 that is angel cruz so we have to estimate so our estimation difference okay we have to do estimation and difference so how can we do that uh, find the estimated uh, first estimate the vote for angel cruz and subtract the estimated vote for uh, terry smith so how much vote will angel get that means how much vote that is uh, what is the formula for estimation again that is sample proportion into population right so what is sample proportion how much they get uh, 483 out of total sample 803 times what is the uh, population population size is we have to apply on 6424 and again how much for uh, estimation for uh, terry smith that is 320 out of 803 and we have to apply this to the whole population that is 6424 so you can uh, just take common and simplify it it will be much more easier you can see here what is our common 6424 is common and over uh, 803 is also common then you have to just subtract 483 minus 323 320 so you will get around 1304 so our answer is a b okay 1304 scene number five a park ranger asks a random sample of visitors how far they hiked during their visit based on the responses the estimated mean was found to be 4.5 miles with an associated margin of error of 0.5 miles which of the following is the best conclusion from the data so our estimated mean so our estimated mean okay was found to be is equals to 4.5 and there is with an associated margin of error means plus minus 0 0.5 miles is our uh, margin of error okay you can write like this and your mean will like uh, lie between 4.5 minus 0 0.5 to 4.5 plus 0 0.5 miles so your estimated mean will lie between uh, 4 miles okay 4 miles to uh, if you add this you will get 5 miles so that should be your answer now let's check it is likely that all visitors hiked between 4 and 5 miles it is likely okay so it is saying very likely when not saying we have just estimated we can say like that we can say there is also exactly we cannot say exactly because there is some margin of error we cannot say likely or exactly it is not possible that any visitor hike less than we can not say like that also we don't have that information for that right what we can say is that uh, the visitor have hiked from four miles to five miles within let's say within four miles to five miles so it is plausible that mean distance hiked for all visitor is between 4 and 5 okay that is the very correct answer so guys thank you for watching so if you have any problem just comment down below and thank you for watching if you love my video then give a subscribe and thumb up so thank you